Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about probably one of the most requested videos or topics I cover, which is where and how to start coding. Maybe you are someone who is thinking about coding but doesn't really know where to start or someone who wants to make a career switch, but once again, where do you begin? There are so many great resources online, which is a positive, but also it can be a negative. A lot of times with so many resources online, it's easy to become very overwhelmed and not really know where to start or if you should go the computer science route, the bootcamp route. There are so many different options and a lot of times in the end, this can become almost paralyzing that you don't know where to start, so you don't start. So today I'm going to break it down for you from my own past experiences as well as I was someone who taught myself how to code and then eventually went to a bootcamp, knew the pros and cons of everything and really through a lot of trial and error was able to figure out the best way to learn how to code, the best resources out there, so I'm going to be sharing that with you today. Before we begin though, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more tech and coding related videos. Okay, let's get started. The number one thing you need to do before you even open up your computer, start coding or looking into resources is ask yourself this. Ask yourself, why do you want to learn how to code? And this may seem obvious to you at first, but when you really sit down and really think about it, come up with reasons as to why you want to learn how to code. Is it because you want a promotion, a career change? Do you want to build the next biggest social media app? Whatever it is, make sure you have a clear understanding as to why you want to learn how to code. And this is so important and so key because it will really lay out the path that you will need to take to learn how to code. For example, if you are learning the very basics of coding just to get a promotion, then your learning path is going to be very different than someone who say is learning how to code to build the next app on their own. Those are two very different learning paths. Okay, so now once you've figured out why you want to learn how to code, the next thing you need to do is figure out the right programming language for you. And as I mentioned before, this will vary based on why you are learning how to code. I'm not going to break it down into specifics as to what coding language you should learn. If you are someone who is looking to make a career change or a career switch, what I always tell people to do is look at job postings. Go online and do your research. What are people hiring for? What are the programming languages that you keep on seeing on repeat where you are located that are in demand? Also, as a side note that I always like to point out, you know, as I mentioned, doing your own research and looking up different job postings, sometimes people are like, well, I don't know. How will I know what's right or what's wrong? And, and one thing that I really think is important to highlight is when you become a developer, you will spend a huge part of your career Googling. So get used to it while you are learning how to code. However, no matter what, just pick a programming language and start learning it. And you'll definitely have to do that throughout your career, pick up different languages. So it's important to get used to the idea of what you are learning today may not be what you are actually using in a year or two from now, but the basics and the foundations that you are learning will carry you through. Okay, so now let's do a check. You have your reason as to why you're learning how to code. You know the coding language you're going to learn. What's next? Well, obviously it's starting to learn. There are tons of different online resources that are great for learning how to code. I'll make sure to link some of them down below, but at the end of the day, I don't want to necessarily recommend a specific one because everyone has such a different learning path or learning style. Some of my favorites for myself anyways were Free Code Camp, Udemy, and I also really liked YouTube, just searching up different kind of tutorials. However, as I mentioned, that was just my experience and the courses and platforms I really liked. I've seen some of these videos on how or where to start learning how to code. And one thing I think no one really touches on is to focus on computational thinking and learning. And what I mean by that is instead of hyper-focusing on learning a programming language, which yes, is important, but you also need to learn how to problem solve. You need to learn to improve your skills at concepts like pattern recognition, algorithms, and abstractions. And there's also things like loops, which are bound to pop up in any language that you use. The better you understand these principles and basics, the easier it will be to jump around from programming language to programming language, which once again, eventually you will have to do. Some people do specialize and go really narrow into one, but I think it's important to have a strong understanding of these things and the foundation. Okay, next up, one of my favorite things that helped me when I was learning how to code and really will help you continue your journey as to not only where to start learning how to code, but as you kind of progress in it is teaching. Teach someone or something how to code. And what I mean by something is 
even if it's say a rubber ducky or um, an object on your desk, start talking to it. I know you're gonna think you sound crazy, but it really helps see where exactly you are in your coding journey if you can teach it to someone else. Cause then you can see, oh wait, I actually don't understand what that is or, oh, I understand what this is better than I thought I did. Getting back to online tutorials, even though they are a great way to learn, you don't want to get caught up in the tutorial trap where you're continuously just building tutorial after tutorial and not really building anything on your own. So one thing I really like to do is if I build a tutorial or work with a tutorial, I will build a piece onto that tutorial. So for example, say you are building a to-do app and you're following along uh, this tutorial. Once you are completed it, try and add on a piece to that that isn't part of the tutorial, whether it be to delete the items on the app or make a second page, something like that that is a challenge for you and you can apply the learnings that you just did to that. Okay, those are my tips for someone who is thinking about starting how to code. At the end of the day though, rather than watching these videos like myself where I'm just talking and talking about how and where to start learning how to code, just get into it. Start taking action and actually putting code on screen, typing things out, learning, rather than just watching and thinking about it. A lot of us have this idea in our heads of, oh, I wish I could code or I wish I could build this, but you never take action. So as important as it is to have an understanding and have a plan as to where to start and how to go about it, I think one of the things that is also really important is to actually take action. Make sure to like and subscribe this video down below, comment what other videos you want to see, and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.